This is Akashwani. The news read by Anuja Kumar. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said that the whole world is attracted by the capability of the Indian youth. He said that today, most world leaders expect the Indian youth, the skilled manpower, to work in their countries. Addressing a program marking the 200th anniversary celebrations of Sri Swami Narayan Mandir in Vatthal, Gujarat, through video conferencing this morning, Mr. Modi said that the global demand for our youth is going to increase further. He added that the youth should be empowered for a developed India and skilled youth will become the country's biggest strength. Bhagavan Sri Swami Narayan has told us that the big lakshs are made of the big lakshs. He has told us that the power of the world to show the power of the world is in the mind. He has taught us that the power of the world can do the power of the world and we will do it for the power of the world. We have to do it for the power of the world and the power of the world. We have to do it for the power of the world and the power of the world. The Prime Minister expressed his happiness that the government has issued a 200 rupee silver coin and a commemorative stamp to mark the occasion. He said that people have kept alive the spiritual consciousness of the Vardhal Dham established by Lord Swami Narayan 200 years ago. He added that this occasion is a proof of the eternal flow of Indian culture for the people. Justice Sanjeev Khanna today took oath as the 51st Chief Justice of India. President Draupadi Murmu administered the oath of office to Justice Khanna at a ceremony at Rashtrapati Bhavan. Justice Sanjeev Khanna succeeds Justice D.Y. Chandrachur, who demitted office yesterday. Vice President Jagdeep Dhankar, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, several union ministers and judges of the Supreme Court attended the ceremony, among others. In Jharkhand, campaigning for the first phase of assembly elections will end this evening. Polling in this phase will be held in 43 constituencies on Wednesday. Our correspondent reports that star campaigners of both the NDA and the INDIA bloc are making last-ditch efforts to woo the voters in favour of their party candidates. Prime Minister Narendra Modi scheduled to address BJP party workers of Jharkhand at 12.30 p.m. in Mera Booth, Sabse Mazboot program through video conferencing. Senior BJP leaders Amit Shah and Yogi Adityanath will hold rallies in support of the BJP and Alliance candidates at various places today. Congress President Malika Jun Kharge will hold two election rallies. State Chief Minister and Senior JMM Leader Hemant Sorain will address election meetings at four places. Film star Mithun Chakravarti is also scheduled to address rally in favour of BJP candidate Babulal Sorain in Ghatshila Assembly constituency. Leader of RJD and JAJSU and left parties will also hold election meetings in different parts of the state. In Assam, the campaigning for the bipoles to the five assembly seats will conclude this evening. A total of 34 candidates are in the fray. Several senior leaders are making last-ditch efforts to woo the voters today through public rallies and gatherings. In Jammu and Kashmir, the security forces continued their search operation in the dense forests of Keshwan and adjoining areas of Kishtwa district today, a day after an army officer died in a gunfight with the terrorists holed up in the area. The security personnel have been scouring the forest for over four days, looking for the terrorists who abducted and killed two village defense guards last Thursday. U.S. President-elect Donald Trump and Russian President Vladimir Putin held a telephonic conversation recently. Mr. Trump urged the Russian president to avoid any escalation in the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. Mr. Trump expressed an interest in fostering further discussions with Moscow to de-escalate tensions and resolve the two-and-a-half-year-long conflict. Prime Minister Narendra Modi paid tribute to Acharya J.B. Kripalani on his birth anniversary today. In a social media post, the Prime Minister said that Acharya Kripalani was a towering figure in India's freedom struggle and an embodiment of intellect, integrity and courage. And with that, we end this news bulletin. <laughs> 